Hi, I'm Jennifer Allen reporting for RSNA News. I'm talking with Dr. Theodore Pierce, abdominal radiologist at Massachusetts General Hospital and an instructor at Harvard Medical School, and Dr. Aileen O'Shea, clinical fellow in the Department of Radiology at Massachusetts General Hospital. We're talking about their radiology research and practice article on the use of ultrasound elastography as an effective non-invasive adjunct to liver biopsy in the diagnosis of hepatic fibrosis. Thank you both for joining me today. Thank you for Absolutely. having us. Dr. Pierce, what benefit does ultrasound elastography offer patients versus liver biopsy? Jennifer, that's a great question. Well, for years, liver biopsy has been used as the gold standard to evaluate liver disease. It involves the placement of a sizable needle directly into the liver to obtain a very small piece of tissue. This frequently requires some element of sedation, the presence of a skilled proceduralist and expert pathologist review of the sample. As a result, the biopsy can be painful, costly, and in some cases have complications. Additionally, only a tiny portion of the liver can be evaluated during the procedure. Ultrasound, on the other hand, is pain-free. It's inexpensive, it's widely available, and it's non-invasive. Instead of using a needle, like during a biopsy, ultrasound elastography uses an ultrasound probe on the skin surface to acquire images. The exam can be completed in just minutes. Also, this affords an opportunity to comprehensively screen the liver with conventional ultrasound for other abnormalities, such as cancer, for which these patients with liver disease may be at higher risk. Dr. O'Shea, how does elastography help radiologists assess liver tissues for disease risk? So ultrasound elastography is a measure of liver stiffness, and that's a known consequence of hepatic fibrosis. And it does this by measuring the speed of waves traveling through the liver tissue, created either by mechanical forces or ultrasound forces. For example, in our practice, we usually use shear wave elastography. And shear wave elastography works by using ultrasound pulses to send waves through tissues, those are the so-called shear waves, and then measures the velocity of those waves. And one of the advantages of shear wave elastography is that it allows the operator to specifically interrogate different parts of the liver and ensure that the optimal measurement site is selected. So ultrasound elastography gives us a non-invasive means of detecting and quantifying hepatic fibrosis. And our aim, of course, in all of this is to identify patients early in the course of their disease in order to find those at high risk of progression to cirrhosis. So Dr. Pierce, how can ultrasound elastography assist with the early detection of liver disease? It's really the broad availability of elastography that will be most helpful in identifying liver disease. Because elastography is safe, easy, and pain-free, we can evaluate liver fibrosis in situations when biopsy may not be indicated, or we can use it as an, additional, uh, an initial screen prior to performing a confirmation or prior to performing a confirmatory biopsy. In this way, the cost and safety profile of elastography allows us to screen a much higher number of patients than would be possible with biopsy alone. Consider that one quarter to one third of Americans suffer from non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and are at risk for liver fibrosis. Biopsying all of these people is simply not feasible. The increased diagnostic testing capability afforded by elastography will allow the identification of early fibrosis in more patients. We hope that this can prompt lifestyle changes and perhaps in the future pharmacotherapy aimed at halting the progression of fibrosis. Dr. O'Shea, can elastography be a benefit to patients who need monitoring during their treatment? Certainly. So in contradistinction to biopsy, ultrasound elastography affords us a non-invasive means for the longitudinal assessment of hepatic fibrosis. And this means that we can easily repeat the test at multiple times throughout the patient's treatment and assess for any change in the liver stiffness values, which could herald disease progression or the need for additional evaluation and testing. Thank you both for the great information today. Thank you. Thank you for having us. For more radiology news, visit rsna.org slash news.